Good morning, fans, privateer, FX. Coming at you, FOMC Wednesday here. Whole boatload of shit going on today. Um, this morning we got GDP from France, we got inflation out of Spain, we got some sentiment and confidence indicators later in the morning out of Europe. Uh, Mex GDP uh, early afternoon, U.S. GDP, ADP employment, um, you got German inflation, Bank of Canada rate decision, and then the FOMC. Both Bank of Canada and um, FOMC will have press conferences. And if you really are digging deep, I guess we have Brazilian rate decisions today. Um, anyway, let's uh, let's start at the beginning here, uh, since this is an opening call from Europe. Let's look at what's going on in Europe. Euro held support at that 1064 uh, region. Um, pretty decent day. There's no real point in digging into anything here. Um, French GDP is mildly important. I imagine that might surprise a little bit on the top side and push this year up a little bit more. But with all of this risk coming out today, we kind of have to just wait and see. So we want to leave, uh, leave Euro alone. We are core long. We've been core long for a while. Um, we have been trading around it a little bit, but um, positions have been cut down. And we're going to make sort of a binary call um, depending on what Powell says after the FOMC here. Sterling, lots of uh, news about the new election. I guess this is positive in the sense there's going to be a resolution. You want to try and buy sterling, but there there should be plenty of whippy moves to the downside. Now you can see that below 128, the figure, there will be some short-term stops. If US GDP is strong, uh, you might want to take advantage of this. One strategy we might be is to sell through 128, the figure, buy 127.70s and buy 127.30s. So you're short at the figure. You're squaring up towards 70 and then you're getting long at 30 um, and if that all comes together your average then becomes you know somewhere below the 127 handle uh, the safe place to buy cable I think is 126 uh, 125.80 to 126 uh, but will we ever see that I don't know so but there will be a few sort of newcomers who are long from yesterday after the election was announced. Their stops will be below 128 to figure. Dollar yen, kind of just a pain in the ass, right? We were waiting for 05 to break all day yesterday. Um, we were long in the 90s and we cut. We will be buying through 05 today, especially if uh, FOMC is hawkish or if US GDP crushes it. <clears throat> this is definitely um, going to be a news driven trade, so positive news needs to drive dollar yen. If we don't see that positive news, we leave it alone. Uh, dollar CAD. Through 50 yesterday, down to 43 twice, but then did a massive reversal. We squared shorts at 62. Now we're not really sure what to do going into uh, BOC. We like dollar CAD lower, but that's a crazy bullish bar um, at the bottom of the range. So we're going to leave dollar CAD alone. Uh, BOC is not going to raise rates today, in our opinion. Should be some positive talk from the central bank, 
but you cannot ignore that bar there. Looks like the market is 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 chronically short dollar cad and there could be some more pain on the top side even though it doesn't make sense on the day or it doesn't make sense the story is cad bullish uh, but that's a bullish bar that's a bearish cad bar bullish dollar cad bar so we'll listen closely to what the boc has to say um and we may try shorts up at sort of 130 130 to 130 160 um, but it's less of a focus today. What we wanted yesterday was a breakthrough 50 um, and a move down to the figure. We did not get it, so we squared the position. We move on. Such is the life in foreign exchange. Let's look at equities. Kind of doji starish, uh, but not really. But indecision day, uh, as you can imagine, with all this risk in front of us. ADP will be important, I think, today because people will be looking pretty closely to see if employment has changed in the U.S. Obviously, GDP will affect this. Uh, and then the Fed, so you have a lot going on here. Standard operating procedure is to be short stocks when Powell speaks. We don't mind this. Um, but we're also wary, right? Because... Our base case scenario is we make new highs and we go 1% higher. So the new highs were 30-30, 1% higher is 30-60. Um, so you got to keep it nimble here. Um, we start being conviction short through 3,000 again. So back down through 3,000 we get conviction short. Right now we're playing short. And we're buying back, you know, you sell 37s, you buy 30s, you sell 35s, buy 31s, and you're just kind of padding an average here um, with no conviction. Chart says higher, story says lower, so no conviction yet. Um, ideally, this thing goes down on some bad trade news, um, but... We'll see what drives it. Maybe there'll be one of these deals where there's no news at all and people are scratching scratching their heads going, what happened? But I would say we're a nimble short up here, no conviction, waiting, we'll be listening. Um, and if something negative is said or the price and volume on the downside looks strong, we become conviction short through 3000 uh, what else is out there? Aussies, marginally bid, not doing much. Again, we're waiting for the 69, the figure. It would be a very interesting point. We do think it will eventually trade. Gold, false break on the downside yesterday. We were not involved. As we said, we were not going to get involved in gold, false break. There was some money to be made there on the short-term book, but we were not involved. Look, there's not much uh, to say as far as setups today because you're basically taking this hour by hour, release by release, starting with French GDP. Um, as it has been per usual, it looks like this is going to be loaded uh, on the U.S. side. We had U.S. GDP, so European morning is going to look pretty quiet. Um, so save your energy, uh, and if you're up early like I am, and get some fitness uh, here before the open. Be sure to take a nap or get some rest uh, before New York comes in, because you got a good nine-hour session today from New York entry all through FOMC, and that's where the meat of the trading is going to be done today. I've said enough, people. Good luck today. This is an important day in the year. Um, we all need to make some dough today. Let's just do that, right? We've done the work, uh, and we deserve it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Ciao.